Hello everyone, my name is Fazal. You are watching MFA Civil Engineering. Lime is obtained from a limestone. When the moisture and the carbon dioxide are removed from the limestone by the process of the calcination, the product which are remain it is a lime. Chemical formula of a lime is a calcium oxide that is a CaO. The commercial calcium oxide it is also known as a quick lime or a common lime. Lime stone is usually associated with the silica, alumina and the iron oxides. It is also associated with the magnesium carbonate as a impurity but in a smaller amount. Pure lime is a white and amorphous or a crystalline solid having a specific gravity about 3.2. It has a high melting point about 2575 degrees Celsius. The outstanding property of a quick lime are its ability to slack with the water. The action of a water on a quick lime is known as a slacking. For making a mortar or a plaster, quick lime is mixed with the water. When the water is added in a quick lime, there is a chemical reaction between the water molecules and the particles of a lime. This reaction is exothermic, which means during these reactions, temperature of a system increase and some amount of the heat is get evolved through the systems. And also the volume of the mixture is get increased about twice. The result of this chemical reaction is a suspension of a finely divided calcium hydroxide in a water which is known as a slag lime. If limited amount of a water is added to the quick lime, the resulting product is a fine white powder which is known as a hydrated lime. On the basis of a chemical compositions, limes are classified into a several types like high calcium or fat lime, poor or lean lime, hydraulic limes and dolomatic lime. High calcium lime contain a 90 to 95% of a calcium oxide and less than 2% of a silica, alumina and the iron oxide. The remaining consists of a magnesia, water and the carbon dioxide. High calcium lime having a various properties like it is perfectly white in color, it slacked vigorously and more expensive than the other type of the lime. It hardens very slowly, has a high degree of a plasticity and large sand carrying capacity. High calcium lime is used for a whitewashing, plastering wall, water softening and as a motor in a brickwork. It is mostly used in a chemical and the glass industries. Poor lime contain a 75% of a calcium oxide and 25% of a clay. It also contain a very small amount of a silica, alumina, ferrous oxide and the magnesium oxide. Poor lime having a various properties like it is cheap, slacked slowly and make a poor motor. It is muddy white in color and has a low sand carrying capacity. Poor lime is used for a whitewashing and mostly in the interior type of structures in the form of a motor. Hydraulic lime contain a 70-80% of a calcium oxide, 5-20% of a clay and very small quantity of a ferrous oxide and the magnesium oxide. It has a hydraulic properties and form a hard mass like a cement. Depend on the percentage of a clay, hydraulic lime is of three types like Fibly hydraulic lime which contain a 5-15% to 15 of a clay. It form a motor which is reasonably strong and used for ordinary machinery work. Moderately hydraulic lime which contain a 15-25% to 25 of a clay. It is also used in a motor but it is stronger than the motor formed by the Fibly hydraulic lime. It is used in a superior machinery work. Eminently hydraulic lime which contain a 25-30% to 30 of a clay. It is also used in a motor, but this motor is stronger than the motor of a moderate hydraulic lime and the feebly hydraulic lime. It is used in a foundation work under the water. Dolomite lime is the equimolecular mixture of a calcium carbonate and the magnesium carbonate. It is obtained by heating a dolomite. It contains a 60 to 70 percent of a calcium oxide, 30 to 40 percent of a magnesium oxide, and very small percentage of a clay. It having a various properties like it is too expensive, slacked very slowly, it has a low sand carrying capacity, produce a comparatively a strong motor which is a plastic, walk easily and is smooth under the travel and set to a hard mass. It is used as a flux in a metallurgy and for a preparing a special slag. Depend on the raw material, the manufacturing of a lime is classified into a three types like manufacturing of a fat lime manufacturing of a natural hydraulic lime and the manufacturing of a artificial hydraulic lime. 
the manufacturing of a fat lime consists of a various steps like collection of a limestone calcination of a limestone and the slacking of a burnt lime limestones are collected at a site in case of a fat lime the percentage of a impurity should not be more than 5% calcination means a burning of a limestones the fuel like a coal charcoal coal ash or a firewood are used for the calcinations the burning of a limestone can be done either by a clamp or a kiln burning there are some important point which is to be observed during the burning of a limestones like the temperature should be maintained at 800 degrees celsius for a proper burning there should not be a over burning or under burning if the color of a limestone is a bright red then it indicate a complete burning the dark red color of a limestone shows the presence of a carbon dioxide in a burnt limestone the heating of a limestone should be a gradually otherwise a sudden heating cause a blowing of a stone into a small pieces the fat limestone should be a broken into a lump size of a 200 mm to 250 mm and the hydraulic limestone into a lump size of a 75 mm to 100 mm for a proper burning the quick lime obtained by a burning of a limestone are slacked by a two method of a slacking like slacking to paste and slacking to powder the manufacturing of a natural hydraulic lime consists of a various steps like collection of a kunkar calcination of a kunkar and slacking and grinding of a burnt lime the kunkar available into a two shape namely a nodular and blocks blocks is an impure limestones the nodule of a kunkars are easy to collect and it is a more superior material for the manufacturing of a natural hydraulic lime the nodules and the blocks of a kunkar are quarried by means of a pickaxe and the crowbar after a collecting kunkars is clean off from the mud and then it is converted into a suitable size calcination or a burning of a kunkar is done in a clamp or a kiln up to a bright red color slacking of a hydraulic lime is a very slow the quick lime is initially ground dry before adding the water for a slacking time taken by the hydraulic lime to slack is about 12 to 48 hours manufacturing of artificial hydraulic lime is preferably adopted when the natural raw material is not more suitable for the manufacturing of a hydraulic lime there are two method used in the making the artificial hydraulic lime that is by conversion of a soft limestone and by conversion of a hard limestone the limestone like chalk it is soft in nature first it is a grounded and convert into a powder form then it is mixed with a clay in a required proportion then it is a burn in a kiln and the slacking is carried out as it required for the manufacturing of a natural hydraulic lime if the available limestone is a hard then it is first burned and slacked then a clay is added to a slag lime within a required proportion so as to obtain a raw material for the good variety of a hydraulic lime then this mixture is converted into a ball of a suitable size and then allowed to dry after a proper drying these ball are properly burned in a kiln the slacking process is carried out as like a manufacturing of a natural hydraulic lime